Warrants reveal a mother charged in her baby's hot car death searched for seizure symptoms on Google before she called 911. Channel 2's Nicole Carr broke news of this woman's arrest on Twitter today. And Nicole, police say her baby died while she was getting her hair done. Yes, and her hairstylist here in this Tucker salon was visibly upset this morning. She says Fowler, DeJanelle Fowler, was a first time client. This was her first visit here. No one had any idea there was a baby in the car during that six hour hair appointment. She's going to have to live with that for the rest of her life. It her child died in the car. Weeks of investigating and searching for DeJanelle Fowler led to the 25-year-old mother's surrender Monday night. She's facing second-degree murder, concealment, and child cruelty charges in her baby's hot car death. They shouldn't leave kids in the car at all. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Because it's dangerous. Court documents reveal Fowler left her car running during a six hour hair appointment in this Tucker salon on June 15th. When she came out, the car and her baby Skyler, seen here on Fowler's Facebook profile pic, were dead instead of calling 911. She received a jump or a boost before leaving the hair salon. But warrants reveal the man who helped her was unlikely to see the child's body in the back seat because there were lots of clothes to cover her. Fowler left after her car got a jump. So she rode around with her dead child for hours? We believe so. While Fowler drove around with Skyler's body, warrants reveal she sent a text to the child's godfather and said she was headed to urgent care for a headache. Documents go on to say she Googled seizure symptoms before parking in this Emory Hospital deck later that afternoon. That's where she finally called 911 saying she was having a seizure. Fowler was hospitalized and released but never offered an explanation for her dead baby. The time frame did not add up. So that's how we got into several weeks of investigation and then her turning herself in last night at the DeKalb County Jail. Uh, the Fugitive Task Force had to go to South Carolina, uh, where she's from, where she resides in Miami, where she has more family, to find her over the past few weeks. Uh, none of the family members wanted to talk today. Live in DeKalb County, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. And Nicole, she is in jail for now, and do we know when she'll be in court? <clears throat> Right. Uh, actually, this evening, in a couple of hours here, she should appear from the jail. She doesn't have bond, and she has a private attorney, which was another reason investigators say they couldn't speak with her in the days after uh, that incident there in the Emory parking deck. So she's expected in court via jail tonight. All right. Nicole in uh, DeKalb County, thank you.